Okay, this isn't a trick question, but what happens if you plant a bad seed? At best, bad crops, and at worst, nothing at all. That is why we spend a lot of money on ensuring that our young stock have good genetics. We want a strong herd. So tell me this, why when I visit a number of farms do I find them literally farming out some of their most precious resources, their young heifers? Neil milks 530 cows on the Haraki Plains, and today we're at his runoff block for a quick look at his heifers. So Neil, how are they going? Oh Steve, look we're really pleased with the way the heifers are going, um, we put a lot of effort into it and um, yeah, it's, it's really rewarding for us to see them like this, so very happy at the moment. Excellent, so what's your secret? We made a conscious decision to purchase our own runoff so we had control over the raising our heifers, so we identified it as a critical part of our whole farming operation. Um, so we look after them as calves, get them off to a good start and we regularly weigh them as you can see today just to monitor their progress and make sure that they're heading where we want them to go. So Neil we can see weighing in action as we speak, how important is that? Well look, weighing's critical, as, as you know you can't control what you don't know. Um, so once, once we weigh them we know, uh, know what their weights are, it's, there's some pretty good guidelines out there as to where they should be at certain times of their life so we can monitor that and then yeah we can obviously take actions if, if we need to. So once you've got that information what are the critical actions that you can take? Oh look it, it's really trying to make sure that, that they're on their target live weights and if we feel like um, there's a group that aren't performing we can pull them out and, and take um, remedial action. This group that we're looking at today, um, when we uh, at the start of the winter, back at the uh, start of June, we weighed them and split them and this is actually the lighter portion of our uh, yearling mob because we knew that on this block up here they'll, they'll do well over the winter. So that's why these guys are up here. So you know, we're making these conscious decisions all the time. And you're getting the results? Absolutely, yeah. Um, it, it's like I say, it's integral to our whole farming system and we just think that having good growing heifers coming into our herd just really gives us good payback, absolutely. We see, we see it in the vat, we see it in our reproductive performance and it's, it's just a win-win. So early decisions now are setting you up well for the future? Absolutely Steve. These yearlings here today, they're the cornerstone of our whole farming system. Great. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself. As Neil identified, it's close monitoring and early intervention of the young stock that's important. After all, it's those lighter heifers that often fail to cycle and get in calf. So make sure your heifers keep growing to target live weights, especially in those critical feed pinch times of late summer and winter. Watch all our videos by downloading the NZ Farmer Tips app for Apple or Android today.